Hello everybody, this is Captain Jerwa bringing you some live PO action today. Haven't done one of these in a while. I think it's going to be some fun now. You're going to play some UU today. Um, I made this team yesterday. It's a very, very good team. Been doing pretty well. Um, I wanted to use Polyrath and Bisharp and UU because they have really good offensive pairing and Polyrath is very good for the PO UU metagame since Roserade is gone and there's lots of bulky waters it has a chance to set up on and Gligar Umbreon is a common core which it can destroy and stuff like that so just classic sub punching set I've got nasty plot bulky Togekiss because it can provide heal bell support and it can also be pretty potent if it gets to set up and it can wall things too got trick choice band to clay doll because people like switch in their Zatus or if they'll just stand with their stealth rocker first turn and take a trick choice ban, which really makes it so they I can rapid spin and it's really hard for them to set up stealth rocks again. So that's that. Fagrius, just classic physically defensive. Darmantan for my scarf to take out the grass types. And Bisharp, which, yeah, prepares well with Polyrath and is just a very, very great Pokemon in general. So, yeah, let's get some battles. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so let's get a battle really quick here with our team. Uh, if my voice sounds any different, it's because it is the morning right now, so I might have some morning voice, but... Okay, we got a team. He has two dark types and two... Oh, this is RU. This is NU. Pretty interesting, though. Um, I definitely need to keep my Cofagrius alive, and he does have an Absol that might have Pursuit, so... Let's just lead off with Claydol, though trick something a choice band I don't even care if I trick yeah that's okay well that's interesting choice Garp electrode but uh, <laughs> uh okay that was that choice Garp electrode very first turn okay now this team I'm well, actually, no, I have Cofagagus, but if you sub Calm Mind out Meloetta, I probably am going to have a lot of trouble with that. But he's going to lead off with Ambipom. But in case he doesn't, let's lead off with Claydol. And if he does, we can just double or switch right into Bisharp and burn something. Hopefully, his Heracross isn't Guts Heracross. Okay, that works too. He might want to Toxic this turn. So let's stay in. Okay, he's scalding. So let's try to switch into Polyrath now. Yes. <laughs> this is what is so awesome about Polyrath. It's just, ah, oh, you can just get subs up so easily. And now what we can do, since he used Rest, is just Encore him into that. And just kill that. <laughs> He has a Meganium. I don't know why he's not going into that. Maybe he just doesn't have any attacking moves. Yeah, I guess he just doesn't have any attacking moves. Okay, Charge Beam. Well, that's interesting. Let's go into Claydol. Uh, let's Trick. Okay, now let's go into Kefag, I guess. Because I, yeah. Okay, there we go. Is he going to go back? Even if he goes back into Myelotic, it doesn't really matter because I can just get Fudge. I can just get another free sub up with something. But now I can get a free sub up with Bisharp. So yeah, now I can just Swords Dance on that Reflect. And I'm just going to kill him. I was thinking about Iron Head, but I had the feeling that he had four attacking moves, so that would be kind of pointless. Uh... If he doesn't go for an attacking move, he's stalling out his own screen, so I'll just Iron Head. And he doesn't have a leftover, so he can Sucker Punch him to death. So Bishop's doing work. Uh, now I just go right into Cofagrigus. And now we double... Okay, there we go. See, this is just such a good offensive combo, like... Bisharp plus Polyrath plus Cofagrigus to take on, like, everything that wrecks them. It's pretty damn good. And fucking Crustal, I hate it. Good thing he doesn't have a spin blocker, though. I'm just gonna... He has Shaman, though, too, which gives my team problems. So I really need to keep Togekiss alive. But I'm just gonna lead right off with this. Trick him a choice band. 
so he can't set up the spikes and so I can rapid spin away his rocks and I'm not sure looking at his team like okay um, I'm not sure if I want I was gonna say I'm not sure if I want rocks or him to not have rocks so now I'm just gonna spam rapid spin I will win this so he really should not keep doing this like he should really switch out <laughs> <laughs> you really shouldn't just sit here, bro. I will win this eventually. There we go. He goes into Milowetta, which has leftovers, so let's Earthquake. Yeah, because he's Calm Mind. So I'll just keep Earthquaking. I don't even care if I lose my clay doll. This thing just needs to die. Ooh, that hurt. <sighs> that hurt. Now, he still does have Crustal, so I really don't want to lose this, but I really don't have much of a choice at this point. So now he could s potentially still set up his hazards, but I'm going to try to not let him do that. But the good news is, like, Milouetta is such a huge threat that weakening it like this is good. Okay, he just switches right into this. Uh, let's Iron Head it. Go for some Iron Heads. He may get rocks up. Yeah, he's going to get rocks. Okay. That works, too. Does he have anything to take? He has Sharpedo to prevent me from sweeping. Okay. So that's that. Actually, what I could have done was gone into... What the heck is this play? What the heck was that play? <laughs> <laughs> What? Really? Oh, that mattered. That definitely mattered, but now we just get a sub up with this. And what does he have to prevent me from sweeping Shaman? Hopefully it's offensive though, so it can't take a sucker punch. And now you're gonna encore. Or now he's gonna toxic again. I was concerned about him going for the foul play there, which might have potentially broken my sub, but whatever doesn't really matter now the good news is even though he has the shaman I got rid of his what the heck is this play what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing that didn't really matter I'm pretty sure foul play doesn't break my sub because at the end of the day I don't have above 300 base attack or 300 attack stat and Polyrath is really bulky, so. Okay, now hopefully you're not a bulky set. Damn, he has leftovers. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, that's good. What do you have left? Uh, I think I'm safe to your slash. Yeah, Togekiss is too bulky. If he had hit that Seed Flare and got the Special Defense drop, I would have been pretty mad. And hopefully he doesn't have the random Zen headbutt, yeah. <laughs> Look at Polyrath, man. It is so good. Yeah, he has Earthquake. Now he dies. Now you die. Like, seriously. This Pokemon is so good in Yu Yu. Like, his... Okay, let's make a Ballsy Prediction. Okay. Doesn't really matter. I can probably live one now. Yep. So now your attack is just at minus two. And you should forfeit right now. Just forfeit. Forfeit, bro. Forfeit. Don't waste time. Come on. Don't time stall. Or actually, his timer's not going down, so it's probably just lag. Come on. Come on. I have a Cafagragus. <laughs> you can't beat me. Uh, I think it's lag though. I might cut if this uh, goes on for too long. There's the forfeit. Took him long enough. Maybe it took him that long to analyze all the possible situations. Actually, now that I was looking back on it, I could have. Polyrath definitely could have lived a superpower and just killed him with Waterfall, so I should have just stayed in. Like, he wouldn't have been able to kill me with any move. So, unless it was like Life Orb, but I don't. Well, it wasn't, but. Okay! Well, he has stuff. <laughs> I really need to look 
out for that Kingdra and the Gallade possibly it could be a potential problem but we're gonna lead off with Claydol and shit <laughs> actually no I have a solid counter for this thing this is a so Polyrath is just a solid counter to for alligator now let's see what his switch into this is see look at that shy on corn or just try to kill him let's just focus punch yes <laughs> that was a very good good thing to switch in bro very good thing to switch in okay he was specs though so I was really more afraid of the dragon dance set to be honest okay now he sends in Golade. so Golade. I want to see the the dilemma I have here is whether he is bulk up or like choice band. Okay. Well, that doesn't really tell me much, but let's pull a wisp. Yeah. Okay. He's not choiced. I guess he's probably like maybe bulk up three attacks or bulky swords dance is what my guess would be. And yeah, that's the forfeit. <laughs> And he really had nothing to he didn't really have too much to kill Fagurgus though he did have Charizard was still kind of a problem for my team especially since I couldn't get stealth rocks up and this thing this Pokemon right here I'm scared shitless of in fact he might just lead off with that or he might lead off with Victini or Nidoking he better not be that freaking Stealth Rock Nido King Saddle. Let's lead off with Darmanitan. Okay. He leads off with Threat. He really does not have anything to take a Flare Blitz, though. Oh, wait. He has that. He does have that. Oh, I feel like Polyrath switching is really obvious. Yeah. That was pretty obvious. So now, let's. What's he going to double switch into? What does he have for this? He could go into Umbreon. Let's go into... Crap. Okay, let's Earthquake. Oh! Okay. <laughs> that seems choice scarfed. What does he have for this? Not too much. Let's just Air Slash. Yeah, since sends a Nido King. What I could do... I just need to take... Try to take that and get some more damage on him. So now he still has to Ice Beam. This is tough though. Switching into Darmanitan is really risky. Let's go into Kefagrius, yeah. That would have been shit. Now he can kill me. Oh, Nido King. Goddamn Nido King. Do I need Kefagrius? Not really. Actually, no, he has a Heracross. I definitely need this. What do I not need? I actually, I don't need Togekiss. <sighs> Goddamn Nido King, such a threat. Uh, I could lock myself into Flare Blitz, but uh, actually, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, he might talk. Let's go into Bisharp. Okay, he protects. That was the worst play, because now I get a free sub. Okay, and he can go into this, but I can get off some pretty big damage with Iron Head, and I can actually kill him with Sucker Punch, so let's not... I could try to sub again, but yeah, he just is going to stay in, so... Ah, oh, threat! Threat, threat, threat. I don't know if this is Choice Specs or Speed Boost yet, but now that Heracross is dead, I can just sack a bag. Yeah, it's Life Orb. But it's speed boost, so let's do some life orb stalling. Gotta make sure Sucker Punch can take it out. That may or may not have mattered. I'm pretty sure it didn't, though. Yeah, Mega is pretty frail. Okay, that's a terrible play. Because I can take that, get up a Swords Dance, and kill you. Especially since you wished. I. Yeah, that's the forfeit. 
there's the forfeit. I don't know why people are staying in with their Umbreons against Bisharp. Like, it's really not smart at all. <laughs> ah, another Yen Mega, but he's gonna lead off with Bronzong. So what we can do is uh, trick that at Choice Band. And he's gonna get really mad, and it's gonna be uh, hilarious. But yeah, this, that Yen Mega is a problem. I really should start pasting the team in the chat because I always scroll up and down and I almost hit enter there. Okay, well, should I choice band this thing? No, we don't want to choice band that thing. Let's go into polygraph. And now he's going to switch out as I get a free sub. Ooh, bad play, buddy. <laughs> bad play. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this thing is so evil. Like, what was it? Turn three, substitute. Turn five, or turn four, forfeit. So powerful, just so good. Like, these people aren't bad players either. They just can't stand up to Yan Mega, or not Yan Mega, Polyrath. People can't stand up to Yan Mega either, but that's besides the point. He has a clay doll, I really, what is this? Oh, crap. He's gonna be a disconnecting opponent, isn't he? Oh, this battle might take a while. Because he probably has a bad internet connection. And mine isn't the best, granted, but... <sighs> Time is going down. I really don't feel like playing him, but my ranking. I like having ranking. <laughs> His time is going down. Well, you know, what? let's just get it up. Oh, okay. Does have a clay doll for rapid spinning away my rocks. So let's just go for that choice banded earthquake. <laughs> and he's work up. I wonder if that means Kofagagus can wall him. Let's just go for another Earthquake. Wow! Got the sleep. Now Kofagagus can wall you, though. Now Kofagagus don't give no fucks about no freaking Meloetta. Especially since he, yeah, he tried to transform back. And now he's just doing Psychic and he got the special defense drop still. It's time to do some switching around. Some switching around. Now we can take another Psychic, and, oh crap, I forgot that it doesn't affect him. <laughs> crap. <laughs> crap, man. Okay, now you die, though. Oh crap! I forgot the typing of that Pokemon. I forgot it was Nor- I thought it was Psychic Fighting. Oh my god, I knew, uh, damn, that really sucks, actually. But he did have a Cobalion, though, so... Damn, though, that's unfortunate. Now he gets to switch it. Okay, so what do I want to draw out? Actually, I can probably just send in Polyrath. Nothing really wants to take it on one-on-one, -on -one except for possibly Kingdra. Since his Psychic type is dead. And the fact that he isn't... Okay, yeah, there's the Kingdra. I lost my steel type too, so this is really bad. Uh, let's just sack Claydol since he, okay. Okay, he's a life orb. I really hope he doesn't rain dance right now. Crap. That is not good. That is not good at all. But Polyrath can definitely live at least one Dragon Pulse. I'm pretty sure. This thing is a huge threat, though. I really need to... Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that bulk. Look at that bulk. That is some pretty good bulk. Like, that was a life orb hit, and he, Polyrath just took that like a mofo. He might trick, but... Okay, yeah, we energy balls. Now... Should I double switch back into it? 
Oh, it's going to Darmanitan, actually. Okay, he transcends in Claydol. Let's see if we can U-turn there. Go back into Polyrath as he Stealth Rocks. Now he can Encore him. Hopefully he won't switch out. Hopefully he stays in. Please stay in. You know I have some... Damn. Uh, what? Can you even kill me? Oh, you're that fucking set. Uh, I have to sack. Sack this. Actually, I'm not even sure of the life orb. Actually, I might have been able to even take that if he's not life orb. Does he have anything to take a flare blitz now? Okay, wait, let's see all that. Okay. What's dead? Kingdra's dead, and Meloet is dead. So he has nothing to take this. Oh crap, he has that. I forgot about that. That was stupid. Oh, I forgot about Chandel. I need to really utilize this thing down here even more. I really need to utilize this better. Because I'm an idiot. Okay, now I get a free sub. I'm pretty sure. Except that he might stay in here. Oh. Yeah, that that's GG for him. Lots of unfortunate circumstances in that battle, so. Okay, well he might either... He's probably either going to lead off with Machamp or Nido King. So this, this team could... If his Blastoise has Roar, this team could potentially give me problems. Slowbro definitely gives me problems. Uh, if I can get a sub up with Bisharp, though, it's all good. But yeah, Blastoise, I really have to hope it doesn't have Roar. Or I'm kind of screwed. But anyway, let's let's lead off the clay doll I have had. Let's trick you a choice band, actually. Even though that may not seem smart since it's a Machamp. I don't want him... I want him locked into one. Oh, yes! Yes! Thank you, bro. Thank you for switching in this thing, and now I get a free sub. Oh man, that really was lucky for me and terrible for him. Okay, so he's sensing that means he has roar. Yep, he has roar. That sucks. That is very bad that he has roar. But actually, I can probably deal with it since I got a um, choice ban on that slip bro. That was very, very good. Come on! Can I please hit? He's probably gonna send an Arcanine on some more. There we go. Did I get rocks up? I did. Uh, he might wild. I don't know. I I don't know how wild charge. How much wild charge does? I have a feeling it probably would still do way too much damage for my own. Co okay. What are you gonna lock yourself in on? No, let's stay in. Yeah. Good thing we stayed in. Now we get to get a free earthquake on something. Oh, actually, I should have switched into a. Uh, should have switched into. Polyrath there. Crap. That's bad. Need to go into Toka Guess now. I don't, I don't want him killing my Kofagra guess just in case he can spin. I really don't want him spinning. That, okay, that's great. So the two main counters to my sweepers are either dead or crippled now. And even if he, okay. Even if he got like off a Toxic or a Scald on Togekiss, it doesn't matter too much. I have Heal Bell and I really don't think Togekiss is gonna come in too much now and that's banded or it's offensive, so he has Earthquake. Most definitely, he has Earthquake. Well, it's just Iron Head. Or Fire Punch. Now he can still go for Return. This thing is kind of a problem. This is probably Curse Lax, isn't it? This is probably Curse Lax. Okay, so what we're gonna do 
is due. We just have to hope he doesn't get the fire punch. Okay, that works too. Now we encore you into that. And get up a free sub. <laughs> oh man, it's just so easy. Just so easy, man. Fish Sharp is still alive, so. Let's just focus punch as he Psy Shocks, and now we can send in Fish Sharp. He might predict this, though. But he does not. Can I. What is, what is still. Everything's still alive except for Blastoise. Including Arcan. Let's, uh, let's try to Sword Stand still, though. Yeah, he sends this in. But uh, let's try Sucker Punching. Oh! See, I was thinking he was going to try to extreme speed there. I didn't. I didn't was, wasn't sure. Okay, that was a terrible switch. I wasn't sure if he knew how the mechanics there worked, because if he extreme speeds, then my sucker punch just fails, but... Yep, that's a Bisharp sweep. I'm fairly certain. Fairly sure that's a Bisharp sweep. Okay, let's sub-scout. Ooh, even better. Even better. <laughs> Okay, man. That, this this battle was just showing how awesome Trick Choice Band Claydol, Bisharp, and freaking Polyrath are. Like, I mean, come on. That's just amazing how well that went for me, that battle. Okay. Yeah, I've been recording for a little while, though. Um, in case, like... Even if I hadn't got a choice ban on that Slober though, Togekiss could like set up on it and since you could get a nasty plot up and then it might even be able to take on Snorlax, so. Yeah, anyway though, that's gonna be a PO live for today. Uh, I really like this team, Polyrath and Bisharp are just two of my favorite Pokemon to use, so. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If I get some positive feedback on this, I might do, try to do PO lives more often and yeah, please leave a comment. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.